Hey there guys, this is Minute Sylvester and welcome back to my channel. So I have been inactive for a few months and it was for good reasons that I could not avoid. I was caught up with a lot of things. So I wanted to inform you that from now on you can uh, expect uh, regular updates of videos so that you can learn new things. So uh, that being done, let's get into the video now. So in this video, we will be creating a telegram bot and programming it using Elixir to respond to a different set of commands that the user might get. So primarily this bot can get you information on crypto tokens. So we'll dive right in. So we are going to be using Xgram, a library for creating telegram bots using Elixir projects. And it has its own set of dependencies. So it has Tesla, which is an HTTP client and uh, JSON, which is a library used to encode and decode JSON, you know, from the request and response bodies. So for now, we'll open up a terminal and we'll create a project. So we'll name it CryptoBot. And we will need a supervisor for this. So we have to pass in the supervisor flag. So we have our project created and now it's time to get the libraries in. So before we do anything with the project, first of all, we are going to be needing a telegram bot. In order to create a telegram bot, we have to interact with another bot called the bot father from where you can create your own bots. So, so we can say help to bot father and it suggests and gives all the commands that is possible to give. So we need a new bot for which we'll say new bot and then it gives you a message to choose a name. So I will call it elixir crypto bot and now again we have to choose a username which will be elixir crypto bot again but this time separated by underscores and now telegram gives us the bot link and a token so now it's time to go back to the project and add our dependencies. So we'll go to the GitHub repo and we'll take all the dependencies from here. So it's time to paste these things in, make sure exit. So in order to get the depths, we'll say mix depths.get. We have to cd into the So after getting the dependencies, we'll just make sure we compile them. So we get a message saying generated XGRAM app, so which means the build was a success. So now it's time to dive in and create a bot. So now that we have XGRAM in place, it's time for us to link our project with the Telegram bot that we created. In order to do that, we type in the command mix bot.new, so which will give us a prompt. So we have to add the XGRAM module with its parameters to our supervisor as a children. So we'll copy this. And we'll paste this over here. So this should do. And you can also see this has a variable called a token. So this is the token that was given to you by Telegram earlier. So you just go there and copy it and we'll paste it over here as a string inside the codes. So now that is in, you can also see there is a file called bot that is generated. So this is where we'll be typing in the commands and what responses should come to those commands. So in order to satisfy our requirements, I found an API from CoinGecko. All their APIs are open. So if you're wondering, you can try other things, but we're going to be focused on a very specific API that gives us the symbols of all the tokens that we can actually get the information about. 
so uh, we have the URL we have to hit so I'll just take this endpoint and paste it in our project somewhere I will paste it over here so now if you remember uh, in our mix when we were adding the dependencies we added something called Tesla so Tesla by itself is a, a library that can handle HTTP a request and response so we'll use this to make a get request to the endpoint. So we'll say use Tesla. And we also have to declare a plug. So the base URL in our case is going to be the endpoint of Ruby 3. So I'll paste it over here. And this needs to be in quotes. So uh, Tesla will use this as a base URL whenever you call the get function. So now we'll declare another function which says get tokens. And here we'll call the get function. And we have to send in the second part of a string. So we'll say So we should be able to make a HTTP request now. So I'll command this off. We'll write a new handle function called command. The command will be list and we'll say messages. We're not expecting a message this, so I'm underscoring it. And for now, I'll say the answer is done so this is the handle function we'll be actually making a request so we'll get a response which looks like this a tuple with okay and the actual response so we need to call the get tokens function over here and i'll inspect this over here just so you could see how the response come so it's response and we are interested in the body so Let's say a sponsored body. So I'll restart our application and we'll go to Telegram. We'll say list and we have an error which says so our number is matching. So yes, we need to add a command function. Yes, so Telegram knows. So list all the tokens. So we should be good to go now. So we'll go back, we'll hit our list another time. And we get a response done now if you do take a look at the response that is printed you can see it arrives with a string and inside the string it is a list so uh we cannot show it to the user we need to do some processing before that so uh again we go back to the dependencies and we added something called json which is a library used to parse json strings so primarily these are used to encode you know response onto an uh, endpoint when you post request or you know when you get something uh, you use it to decode these kind of strings so we'll just use a library to decode what we have so uh, in our case we need to print it uh, we need to print each of these uh, symbols in a new line so uh, first i need to decode this so i'll use the function decode i'll say response dot body so this will result in a list which i will join using a new line so now it is a string concatenated using uh the slash in which is code for new line so the user now should get a string with each of these symbols printed on the new line. So we'll 
restart the project to check if everything's good. So we'll go back to Telegram and we'll say list. And now we get all the symbols. So pretty much what we expected. So we now have a Telegram bot which can give a welcome message, which can show a help information. So we have something to add to that. So we'll say list, list all supported tokens symbol. And we also have a command to display all the possible tokens that we can give the information about. So, I mean, from the symbols. So, uh, I guess this is where I'll be stopping for this video. In the next video, we'll be looking at how to get the information about specific uh, tokens. So, until then, this is Minute Sylvester signing off. So, yeah. So, uh, until next time, keep coding.